treat it as any form of media that is, you know, uh, don't say things that are inappropriate, um, and uh, try to just be authentic, and um, uh, try to pe treat others like you would want to be treated, and just figure out uh, what your message is and tell people what that is. Uh, some people are very political, and if and if you say I'm highly political, people will know that and either follow or not follow you. Or if you are very interested in a certain disease. Uh, you can talk about that, or if you are kind of all over the place, you can say that. Uh, so I think as long as people know wh what where you're coming from, uh, also disclose any conflicts of interest. Um, you can't obviously put every advisory board and stuff you're on there, but I think you know if you are from an institution, you should put that. If you're a physician, you should put that, um, so people know what they're getting. Um, uh, and also, I think it's good to have a link to, to more information. So that could be LinkedIn, that could be your institutional affiliation, Doximity, whatever. Um, uh, I'm an advisory board for Doximity, so that's my COI. <laughs> um, so I think, um, and then uh, the most important thing besides just establishing an account and seeing how to set it up is getting someone to mentor you because it's actually relatively easy uh, but uh, like I said I think maybe in the ASCO 2015 education book describing how to ride a bike doesn't make it sound very fun but if you actually have someone show you how to ride a bike you see why it's fun uh, so uh, I think you just need s someone to bring you through the paces and and it may not be right for you or there may be some other uh, a form of media that's better so a friend of mine who is active on Twitter but not as active as me uh, his best form of communicating is by blog posts uh, he's a famous blogger for ASCO and um, his blogs are just amazing so his he does really well in that long format. And then I have another friend who's not in on oncology, uh, Dr. Uh, Brian Vardabedian, and he writes these very short blogs. So it's somewhere between a tweet and a full page blog. And, and so people find their format.